Well, welcome everybody. This is Project Hospital, a game that has been out for about almost four years now. I've never really played this game before. Um, and what it is, it's basically you become like an ace doctor. You 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 run, you start your own uh, practitioner, I guess you could say, and it can evolve into a giant hospital if you choose to do that, I think, um, and all different kinds of things. It's a very, very um, uh, detailed uh, project... <laughs> It's a very detailed hospital <laughs> uh, simulation type game, which is really, really cool. You know, um, there's not a lot of games like this out here that are kind of take it serious. I say serious, but I only say serious because I, I think of like, you know, two point hospital. That, that, that's, it's a hospital simulation game, but you know, it's not not serious. You know what I mean? Anyway, so this has become an ace doctor, an aspiring eye architect and a successful manager at the same time. So, you know basically art vandalay uh, design your very own hospital tweak every detail or choose one of the pre-built scenarios and just jump into the doctor's duty i do plan on doing like a just not a uh well whatever the sandbox mode is um and starting from scratch that's what i want to do kind of like a rags the riches hospital grind in a way if you guys want to see more of project hospital i know i did a poll earlier uh this week where we took a poll and you guys wanted to see project hospital come to the channel um, let me know. Hit the like button if you would like to see more. The like button on this first episode means a lot. It also is very, very important on whether or not I should continue this series. Um, if you're new to the channel, well, welcome. I'm Cans, and we have simulation, tycoon management games, and story-driven games as well on the channel. Mostly Let's Plays and things like that in nature. Um, live streams as well. So if you're new, come on over to the channel. Check us out and all that good stuff, and we'll have a good time, right? Uh, other than that, we do have DLCs off above my forehead here, and uh, I don't have any of them. I have no DLCs. And the reason why I don't have any deal of the DLCs is because I, I'm I'm kind of hesitant. I don't know if there's... Some DLCs are worth it, some DLCs aren't worth it. I don't know. Um, if I should get DLCs, let me know. Um, and let me know which ones is the best, and if it will change my gameplay or make my gameplay even better, right? Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into a new game here. I do want to do a sandbox. Now, uh, I do realize before jumping into this, right? Campaign is one thing, right? Um, this game is going to have a lot of learning curves. So please, um, patience. <laughs> That's all I ask. Patience is going to take a lot to learn. And I'm going to be using a lot of information that you guys um, talk with me, right? How you guys interact with me. How you guys, excuse me, interact with the... Um, with the videos commenting down below tips and tricks and things like that i'm gonna really uh lie heavily on that so just don't forget about that i've never really played this game it's a first time going through so please um just like i said uh be patient with me as i go through this other than that patience will die so i say be patient with me but apparently patience will die <laughs> a little bit of punny there um unlock all departments no free build no i i, I want to i want to struggle yeah, start the game. Show me what it's like. Show me what it's like to run a hospital, right? Show me how it's all done. Um, and, and I guess we'll get from there. Now, if you are expecting a beautiful hospital, right? The biggest, beautiful, coolest, neatest looking, uh, make sense layout hospital ever, you came to the wrong place. I'm sorry to say that. Um, because I myself am not very... <laughs> very good at that kind of thing now one thing i will do before we jump into this is i will move my forehead off to the right side of the of the, of the play here and we will jump into that that way okay all right so uh the first thing we want to do i guess is build an emergency room right um okay uninsured cheapo care liver ty quick snap care and Overcure incorporated so these are probably all the insurances that contracts com companies i see that maybe we can like uh you know that we accept kind of you know thing oh we don't we don't take your we don't take your uh insurance sorry you know have a nice day type thing right it sucks it's ri ridiculous but it is, it is a real thing add new floors so you can actually have multiple floors in this game yeah okay so let's build the foundation here so i would say let's let's build somewhere near the parking lot right so that makes sense but i doubt there's going to be cars coming into this game um i don't know if there's actually ai that walk Threw up and down the sidewalks. I'm really not sure with that. Um, it is, you know, it's kind of spicy to think about because I would love to see some people walk into <laughs> to the to the hospital with a broken leg or arm or something. Um, yeah, so I really don't know what to say. So we have a hundred thousand dollars to spend, and I don't know how much is enough and how much is not enough. Now I don't know what this yellow box is. 
Maybe it's for like an ambulance drop off or something, potentially. If that's the case, then I kind of maybe want to start over here, maybe ish. I don't know. Twenty five thousand dollars is ridiculous. Twenty nine thousand dollars is even more. So thirty grand to start out a. I know I'm wearing the wrong shirt today, guys. I, I apologize for that. Um, twenty nine grand, thirty grand to spend on a startup foundation. I don't see that being too bad, right? Uh, and then we have obviously the walls we need to put in. So let's go ahead and put some walls in. Luckily, the walls are <laughs> relatively cheap. Now, I don't know if I can switch the wallpaper or how that all works. I guess you could select different wall types, you know, like a brick wall. The only problem with that is that I don't want like the brick wall to be shown inside. Like also. Let's see here. Um, let's go to doors. We're obviously going to want a door for our place. Now, where do we want the door is, is, is a great question. I want sliding doors, like double glass door, sliding double door. I want, yeah, I want sliding doors into my hospital here. Right there. Perfect. Um, now, do we have, let's see here. Do we have carpet, flooring? Yeah, let's get some, like, generic flooring in. Of You know, can we actually put down the walls? Very good. Um... I guess white tiles fine. I will like make things color coordinated as we proceed. I guess this is extremely white. Maybe I go black floor. Or you don't see a black floor floor ever in a in a hospital, but maybe now you do. Now that was a waste of money. I will say that was a lot of money spent there, and money is going to be a very big deal. Okay, so this is uh, th okay. Is this what this is? Ambulance unloading is right here. Is that what that is? Ambulance parking. Ambulance itself. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay, so there's our box, right? There's our freaking box. Okay, cool. Now, one thing we're gonna need is a waiting room in a doctor's office, very standard, right? So a waiting room. Um, okay, let's go waiting. No, no, oh, department statistics. Oh, you can have night shift and work, uh, sorry, day shift and night shift. That's really cool. When are we actually open? Are we only open 700 to 2000? Are we not a 24 hour doctor? Well, I guess we're not a 24 hour, um, uh, company or what do you call us i guess really you just call us a, a, a doctor's office really at this point because we don't have a lot you know we don't have clinics well i guess i guess emergency room is a doctor's office is that what they're kind of sharing with us here okay um right no 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 put that down isn't there like a um I wanted to have like a, uh, like, I'm, I'm clicking this. There we go. This is what I want. So a doctor room. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Now there is like these pre-built, right? These pre-built rooms and things like that. And um, some people could be kind of against that. And some people could be like, oh yeah, you know, there's no big deal with that. I myself, I'm like, all right, send me, right? Like, let's just do some pre-built stuff. Seems pretty easy and simple to do, right? Of course, I want to modify these pre-built though in the future. But at least for now, to start out with, we could start out with this. So there's a corridor, corridor. What is a corridor technically used for? I guess just the look of it. We have a waiting room. So when people come in, we want a receptionist, right? We could have a nice little reception there. We have a nice big reception there. I think we go tiny. We got to go tiny, right? So when somebody comes into the front door here, right? They come into the front and... I don't want to use a lot of pre-built, so I, I know what you're thinking, but I, I don't. I don't want to use a lot of pre-built. But to start off, I think a pre-built is fine. So there we go. We'll, we'll have like a nice little receptionist, you know? And then let me go back to um, walls here. We'll go back to walls. And we'll kind of give that like light, uh, that classic look of like wood paneling behind it. Now, I'll bring up the, the walls here to kind of give you an idea. So nice little backdrop, right? So this is this is where, you know... Kind of like, kind of like this is the front, right? This is, this is the front lobby. Everything else behind is a little bit private, you know. Uh, that's where people get their doctor on. <laughs> that's where they get their doctor on. All over here could be more receptionists in the future. Um, it could be waiting rooms. It could be x-ray rooms. It could be whatever you want. Or waiting, you know, waiting x-rays or, you know, anything. It could even be facilities. Uh, bathrooms, um, you know, um vending machines you know things of that nature right things of that nature now there is a couple of doctor offices in the restrooms now the restrooms let's be fair here the restrooms are not very like 
it's it's not it's not a uh, it's not like a oh you you should not use pre-built on restrooms right they're they're pretty much boring <laughs> right so we don't just stress too much about this now the one thing is certain here where do i put this bathroom in particular they put it right here up against this um they have a short distance to walk to and they have a li nice little tiny uh, bathroom to have right but um you know that blocks potential over here because i, I kind of like a square like a, a roundabout here kind of thing like receptions in the middle then they have different ways to go in and out uh through so maybe i do stick to uh bathroom being set right there and maybe even having two bathrooms right i don't know two bathrooms too much mm, maybe maybe in the beginning yeah maybe in the beginning we have fifty four thousand dollars let's not you know get too buck wild here all right so we have the receptionist and then the waiting room itself right um which kind of brings in this so let's see here let's go let's bring in some stuff yeah let's get in some furniture I like some nice furniture some dining table here um receptionist desk i want some chairs that's all i want i just want some nice seating like a nice chair right do we have to designate this area like a zone wise i don't know if we have to do that or not i'm not sure like, oh, you see how, like, this carpet is here for, like, staff, I guess, or staff only, and then, like, waiting here. Do we have to designate zones in this game? I feel like we might have to. Emergency clinic, open that up. Um, let's see here. Insurance companies, ambulances, budgets, statistics. Hmm. Ah, what is this? Open department. Open department staff. Department dress code. There's a dress code. Oh, how wonderful is that? Love that. Manage planned surgeries. You can actually manage planned surgeries. Holy crap. Oh, I guess that's another thing we need to do as well is, is get a closet too. Yeah. Um, didn't think about that. But yeah, a nice little closet. Where is that at? Is that here? Yeah, a cleaning closet for our janitor. Because we're going to need a janitor anyways to clean up everything. So I guess that goes right next to the bathroom for now. That's fine. This stuff could be like back... No, well, at least the restroom's not. But like the closet, cleaning closet could be back room type thing. But... You know, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I the one thing about all of this is that it's so, so like there's so much, right? There's so much, and there's not like a, like a search thing where I could like type in, but you'd be like, oh, I want this specific thing, right? You have to like go through the pages to find exactly what you're looking for, which is kind of sucky, but. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If I add this down, if I put this down, is this considered now a waiting room? You know, um, you know, do I have to put that zone? I don't know, dude. Info TV. So reception, they come in, they talk to the reception. They're like, hey, I'm here for a doctor. And then they come over here for waiting. Maybe prefabs is the way to go for right now. At least until I get the use, until I get used to the game, right? I guess that's one thing, yeah. Until I get used to the game, I think prefab is maybe the way to go. So we'll do like a little bit of waiting room here. Like a nice... Oh, that's actually... Well, oh, that's fine. Do that. Some chairs, some drinks, some food, um, some chairs. <laughs> and those wait right there. Um, and then, yeah, I, I assume this is different, right? So you got waiting right here. Ah, yes, the Q and TV and info machines. So is there a Q machine here? Is there an info machine here for info TV info right there? Can we like put it right there? And then do you have to add a queue to this? So then the waiting room is now decorated with a queue and a info. Maybe the queue is for the reception. Yeah. So when the reception gets a little too busy, then they go from reception to there. I think that's how that works. Really not sure. Like I said. First time. <laughs> First time really playing this game. All right. So, okay. Over here, we want to at least have them come through here, right? We want them to go through here. We want them to have a nice, um, would you call this a restrict restricted area? Well, not really, considering it's just a doctor's. They're here to just check on the patients. I would just do a normal door. Yeah. I guess windows with blinds is not a bad order to, to ask or to do either. Like a watch window. That's kind of interesting. It's kind of spicy. You know, put a watch window here at reception so that anybody back here in case, you know, something was to happen. Kind of like a safety thing. We'll do that. Yeah, I like that. And then, yeah, like a white door, something simple, right? Um, it's like your local doctor's office. Yeah. Um, yeah, it kind of gives it that homey feel, right? 
go right there. We'll go, bam, door right there. Okay. Then we'll go to the prefabs here. And then I will do a nice, just a simple doctor's office. Maybe six by eight, six by four, six by six, six, my lord. Common room. What is the common room? What is the common room? Common room is the place for the hospital staff to rest and study and eat. Ah, so you have a place for them, like a restroom. Or not like a restroom, but like a, um, a break room. Yeah, break room. Okay, I see. Oh, and there's even more to this. On call, nurse's station. Oh, my lord. So much here. So a, a, a simple doctor's office. Where are we looking at for a simple doctor's office? If they were to walk in, that's what that looks like. Okay, what about a bigger? I mean, you don't want too big, I don't think, right? At least not for the beginning. Like I said, I think money is super, super important in this game. So let's go one doctor's office. Um, X-ray room, uh, CAG, CT, MRI. I don't. Sonograph, sonograph cardio cardiography. Don't know if we need that right away. I think we probably do, right? But it's it's kind of just more or less, let's see what happens. Let's see what kind of people come in first. And then we work from there. Now, uh, do I have one doctor or two doctors? Honestly, I think we go two doctors. I think two doctors is probably the, the right move to go. Okay. So, with that being said, do we have to, like, accept these uh, insurance companies? You know what I mean? Maybe. Where do we hire our doctors at? Do we do that down here? Insurance companies, departments. Um, okay, we have the rooms. We have a doctor's office. We have a waiting room. We have a receptionist. We have a cleaning closet. We have all this stuff. Now we just need to go ahead and hire some staff. Free area accessible to both patients and staff. I see. Uh, yeah, I want all of this to be accessible to uh, everybody. If I can. Can I do that? Can I do that? Or do I have to add it? Oh, remove area? Is that you remove areas and things like that? Certainty. Don't know what that is. Common room. Don't have the break room. We should probably do think about bringing a break room. You know what? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let's 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 make a break room for our people. It probably is the right way to go. Uh, where was that at? It was it was right here. Yeah, doctor's office, restrooms, common room. There it is. Maybe we could slide that in. Like right there. Perfect. Right in the middle. Right. And then what you could do is you can have a couple more doctors over here. And then you can kind of branch out a little bit, kind of like take a wing over here, kind of loop around. That might be like unnecessary. You kind of want to go up the middle, though. That would make things more practical, right? Yeah. Okay, right. That's fine. There's a lot of room for corridor action here, which I don't mind personally. I would love to see if I can maybe change the way this stuff looks. Like, yeah. Like wood. I like that. Yes, the rest of this isn't planned out all the way, but eventually it will be. Um, even this stuff right here. Not fully planned out, like the way it looks and things like that, but eventually it will be. We're going to need to hire not only doctors, but we're going to also need to hire... Um, what is it? Uh, like janitors, yeah? Let's see here. Staff menu? Nope. Staff okay. department? No. Nope. Nope. Departments. Patients. Nope. I'll get a hang of this. Don't worry. I'll get the hang of this. Ambulance? I don't know why we need ambulance right now. We don't. We don't need an ambulance right now. $38,000 still in the budget. Chief doctor. None. I would like to hire somebody. Uh, manage? No. Automatically take all over. No patients. That's kind of important. That's a really interesting uh, toggle button there, for sure. Yes, staff. Doctors. What am I not seeing over here? Unlock by completing insurance company objectives. Shared room, staff day. Okay, staff night. Wait, they're, we, they're, they're expecting us to have a night and day and night? Oh, I hope they aren't. <laughs> I hope they aren't expecting us to have day and night. Oh, my lord. Okay, so if they want us to do a day and night, um, that might change a way, change how things work. I'm not really, really, really sure. But let's go ahead and get into, I guess, receptionist here first. And I'm going to be very, very, very picky on my receptionist and things like that. So we don't have a lot to look for here. We only have a couple. Uh, we have patient care receptionist. I really, really would like a high receptionist slash patient care. Uh, right here, 
um, who is this? Lisa Scott, salary of 269. I feel like doing our um, people first, right? Doing our um, staff, treating them well, not treating them well, obviously treating them well, but also like having better staff right off the bat is the way to go, right? I feel like. Could be wrong about that. There's two, what is this? Two hidden perks. So long commute. That's bad, but for a night shift, I don't think it's too, I don't think it's too unrealistic. Like, okay, night shift, long commute, whatever. I don't even know if I need a night shift right away. I might not, you know, I might not need one right away because we are just starting up here. We'll have a day doctor, right? Day doctor. I want the best that I could potentially get right now as far as doctor goes. And it looks like Joseph Barkley is that um, he does have a hidden perk, but he also has a long commute, right? Long drive can often be late for work. I mean, it sucks, but everything else, general me medicine, 50%, diagnostics, 65%, acute medicine, 66%, and anesthesi... I'm not even going to be able to pronounce anything. Anesthesiolo anesthesiology, 37%. When you compare it to anybody else, Barbara Martin probably would be the next best choice. And actually, Barbara Barbara it will be the day shift doctor now looking at it. She is very good. Level fellow. I don't know what that means. Level resident attending fellow. Uh, better general medicine. Better acute medicine. I guess the same. Same diagnostics. The only thing she lacks is an anesthesiology. And I don't think that's a big deal, really, for starting off. So Barbara, get hired. Hospital now accepts patients. The hospital now has enough staff to accept first patients. First insurance companies are automatically contracted. So let's go into that. So um, I guess the only thing that we're accepting is cheapo care, right? They send 10 patients, treat one patient per at a emergency, per, uh, per day at emergency. We'll get a government reward of $20,000. We can say, hey, stop sending these people in or keep sending these people in. We're going to keep them in keep them coming for right now right um because that's our only option now do we hire a night doctor since we have a night nurse do we hire a night doctor we could and it could be our long commute joseph barkley so he will be the night shift on the other uh office here so clinic is now open overnight Cl uh patients now are accepted 24 7 i think that's a good investment of money i think that's the way to go uh, that's fine with all of us. Now let's go ahead and get a day and night janitor, right? Uh, again, investing a lot of money into my staff, I believe, is best course of action here. So Jennifer King here has one of the best or is one of the best janitors available at this moment. Her efficiency is very good. Her de dexterity, which I assume is her speed, right? Affects speed and clean. Yeah, uh, is very good. So yeah. The only problem with her is that she's an early bird, which is not bad. That's good. And she moves fast. That's wonderful perks. So Jennifer King, she will be day shift. And then we will have a night shift. Second best, Michael Rodriguez. Efficiency good. Uh, dexterity good. Even though she he does kind of fit the same here with Lisa Clark. Uh, and it's cheaper. The only problem with Lisa Clark is she moves slow. Uh, he is late to work, but he also moves fast. So I do rather have Michael Rodriguez. Okay, there we go. So we have, and I know there's two desks here, right? And I don't think we're going to be busy, too busy right off the bat. That's why we only have one reception in instead of two day reception. So we'll see. If that if that if things get a little bit crazier, then obviously I will, I will, I'll change that. We can make our chief Dr. Barbara Martin, which is what I'm going to do for whatever reason, if that does. Certainty, uh, I don't know what this is. So setup value of which... Will you be used to, to confirm diagnostics? Set up value of which will be used to confirm diagnostics, or set up value of certainty which will be used to confirm diagnostics. High certainty, low. I see. Oh, so the certainty of like, you know, when they guess. Oh, what is the guess of the of the um, of the issue? Right? Is it medium effort, low effort, or high effort? I kind of want high effort, and the high effort might take longer. Right diagnosing patients that's the only that's the only thing i can see there okay so let's see here if i press play now we'll see what happens i do want to kind of give like a nice little brick on the back back brack 
get, give a little like brick on the back end here. I don't want this white outside, but you know, it is what it is for now. So now we have our people, uh, two of them, sorry, three of them, of which will go home night receptionist, night doctor, night janitor. They will all go home. They'll come back later this evening, right? Obviously. Um, so now where do we stand here? Treat one patient per at emergency. That's easy enough. So let's go ahead and fast forward time here. Wait until someone gets here, right? Yep, yep, yep. All right, so somebody is coming in. This is our first patient. Oh, here we go. First patient is Mark Williams. Mark Williams is going to be taking a tab here, waiting. I don't know what he's waiting on. He's the only person here. Doctor is going to be coming in, I guess. Barbara Martin. There she is. Um, does he not go to reception? I thought he would have went to reception instead of this queue. I might have, like, two of the same things, like, working the same exact thing, right? Having the queue might skip the receptionist, for all I know, right? I don't even know. Four hidden symptoms. So what do we have here? We have four hidden symptoms. Okay. Payment zero. He has a cheapo care, which, you know, it is what it is. It's fine. Um, interview. We can interview him. Available treatments. There's not a lot of treatments that we can do. So if for what? Oh, he's fatigued. Okay. He's fatigued. That's fine. Yeah. Let's, let's get a little bit of zoom in. His shirt is off. Good God almighty. All right. Breathe. Cough. Cough. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's see how good Barbara is. Jesus Christ. Look at these, like, potential diseases. Like, chronic kidney disease? That's terrible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's absolutely terrible. Yeah, let's fast forward time here. So he has sneezing. He's fatigued and has itchy eyes. One more last hidden uh, symptom here. And in the meantime, do we have people waiting? We do. We do have more people waiting. Uh, which, you know, it is what it is. So there we go. Reception actually is working. Uh, now that we only have one day doctor, these people are going to have to wait. Um, we'll see how fast we have our doctor go through here. So we have allergy discovered. So he's fatigued. He's sneezing. He has itchy eyes. Sounds like me for the, like the last couple of days. Um, looks like he just has allergies. So nothing too bad. Uh, I guess we will be giving him some medicine. Um... Which is interesting. So allergy treating drugs opposing the activity. I know I'm kind of blocking it. I'm sorry. Required room. Doctor's office observation room. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Thank you. All right. So he's been treated. Hooray. All right. So objective complete. Objective for insurance and company has been completed. Treat one patient per day at an emergency room. Uh, government gives you $20,000 grant. Thank you. So reason why I have a lot of money and reason why I haven't like done anything else because I know bills are going to have to become a thing, right? There's going to be some kind of bill that we have to take care of, some utilities or whatever it might be. So this is our next person. Our next person is going to be Frank Garcia. Hello, Frank Garcia. He's came in with a headache, a fever, and a swollen lymph node. Lymph node. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and diagnose him. Um, I'm kind of thinking about hiring another doctor because now our... our <laughs> we're very we're very much... Uh, we're bumping. <laughs> We are bumping out of control now. Um, radiology is the next thing that the game wants us to, to unlock. And I will be patient with the radiology. I don't. I won't jump on it right away. Uh, but but you know, we'll do what I can, what I can, when 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 we can do. But I, I I think I'd rather have a day shift, another day shift doctor here. So let's see here. We have Margaret Baker, uh, who seems to be very very good. And I, instead of like using the 20 grand to build this radiology, which I eventually will have to do anyways, I'd rather use that 20 grand to spend on our very, very good doctors. The so general medicine, 50%, acute medicine, 60%, diagnostics, 54%, anesthesiology, 32%. This might be a bad thing to do. Um, who knows, right? Who knows? Maybe investing in staff is a terrible thing to do, but I'm doing it and I'm going for it and I'm sending it. All right, so there we go. We'll get our day doctor in. And that will be that. Yep. All right. Get a new doctor. There we go. All right. Now people are coming through here. Very good. So there we go. Frank Garcia is doing his thing. He's having a good time. Insurance company can be contracted. Insurance company uninsured can now contract and send payments. So now if we wanted to, we can start uh, bringing in uninsured uh, patients, which if we do, you know, treat 10 patients per day, we can get a little bit of a $30,000 government grant eventually, which is not bad. So we're going to open that up. We're going to bring them in. It will probably cost us, the company, hospital, because hospital is a business after all, right? Probably will cost us more in uh, having these people, uh, you know, uh, taken care of. As you can see, like right here, minus 70% money, right? So, um, yeah. Uh, some of these other 
uh, what is it? Some of these other insurance companies, they do pay out 100%, but some of these don't pay all of it. And then the hospital has to pay for the remainder, right? So, yeah. So, but we will bring them in because we need to treat 10 anyways, and we'll get 10 and we'll get a lot more money. Frank Garcia, what do you got going on? Lar larin 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 laryngitis? Laryngitis refers to inflammation of the voice box. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, let's just get 10 patients done. And then once I get this next $30,000 grant, grant uh, I will definitely um, then start going for the radiology here. So there's no clear diagnosis. There's no clear diagnosis. Consider adding more diagnostic equipment, laboratories, or radiology rooms. The patient will soon, soon leave. So there we go. Obviously, uh, we need more you know, uh, options for us. Radiology being a place that we can go and uh, send the patients off, you know, and... Um, get get more diagnostics right now we're kind of just a basic practitioner you know they, there's nothing much that we can do other than do what we're doing when we can do right that's it that's all we can do so one patient is probably going to be is probably going to leave and that's a that's a she or if she already left or not are we technically making money that's the thing though um are we technically making money um this is all in one day. So this is technically day one, right? So day one, we've spent $40,000. So we can't really see where our profits actually send and if we're making money or if we're losing money because it's only we're still on day one, right? So we haven't really seen everything. But I'm going to let kind of this all go through here and we'll see how well. I'm, ass I'm assuming the major majority of people that come in, at least for now, will be able to treat. Like, how are we doing here on this? I don't know where the ticker is here, but um, hopefully that, that gets all sorted out. Maybe we have to open up the radiology first and then get these uninsured people uh, going here. But hey, we're about to hit $60,000, which is good. Um, and having 20 treated people, I see. Oh, we've, wait, treated patients and untreated? So there we go. Okay, yeah, $30,000. Um, objective complete. Insurance company, 10 patients uh, treated. Very good. Okay, so now we have that extra thirty grand. I think now we could probably go ahead and think about bringing in a radiology. Uh, so let's, uh, let's do that. Let's build in a radiology room, right? There we go. X-ray room, a CAG room, a CT room, MRI, a bunch of different things, right? A bunch of different things. Now, this is the tricky part. <laughs> the tricky part is simple. Which direction do I go? I think I go through here, right? Um, if I were to make a prefab doctor's office, how many more could I make? I can make one right there and then one right here. Yeah, and that, that leaves a little bit of a corridor right there. Okay, that's good. So then let's go door. And I want to go restricted area. Yeah, I think I want to do restricted area. Restricted area, like right here. Maybe right there, one of the two. Make this a restricted area. And then back here, this is where I'm going to start building in uh, the next part of the hospital, I guess. The the, the additional foundation. Um it doesn't need to be completed completely. I just need a spot for our, I mean, how much money if I went all the way across? $18,000. I guess that's not too bad. Not as bad as I was thinking. It depends on how wide I go, right? Um, let's just go 20 grand for the foundation. It is quite a bit. I'm not even like thinking about walls now, am I? And then what we'll do is we'll just spread this out for now. Put some walls here. And I do plan on changing the wallpaper eventually, just... You know, not top priority right now. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and bring in an x-ray room. So this could be like our first, you know, our first, um, first additional devices to use, I guess you could say, to find more, um, what's going on with people. Whoa, right there. That's good. So there we go. We have a radiology now. Um, it's fine. You know, it, it, it is what it is. It's, it's all right. It's all right. It's okay. You know, um, it's a prefab. <laughs> it works. That's, I guess, one thing that, and, you know, some people will be, I don't know. Some people will be upset that it's prefab. Some people won't. I don't know. Some people don't care. Some people really care. Um, I, I, I think the one thing I like the most about games like this is I really like being able to kind of cosmetically customize. I love the business aspect of it too. That's like one of my favorite things about games like this is like, I'm not so much of like, oh, all the tiny little, oh, I'm going to put this little wall here to make a trash can, to make a sink, to put a bookshelf. I'm more of like, let's build a business and let's see if we can run a successful business. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's kind of what I'm into. 
So we'll go through there. I like that. Finish off the wood. And I like the homey feel of the wood. So we'll finish that off on that side as well. Okay, so when they come in here, um, how do I want this to be put out? I guess we can go just for right there for now. Just a nice little wall. It's fine. Um, and then figure something out eventually. Now, also, do I need someone? Yes, I need a radiologist, right? So we can hire a radiologist, night shift, day shift, which is going to cost even more, right? Uh, I got to have someone doing the day shift and night shift, right? And um, I want the best of the best of the staff, right? It might put me in a bad situation, but... You know, it is what it is. Actually, I don't know if I necessarily do want the best of the best because all I need is a, is a, is a radiology, ra radiologist. I don't need a biochemist right now. So, like, Margaret Barkley, she could go. Hard worker, does not take free time for breaks, and is a commuter. Margaret Barkley, get hired for day shift. And what I'll do is I'll just let the game go for right now on, on, um... I guess on day shift radiology. If I need to bring in night shift radiology, then I'll bring in a night shift radiology. But for right now, I think we'll just do the day shift radiology. Now, one thing I really like about this hospital is the wide open corridors here. It's a lot of wasted space, I know, but it just looks a lot cleaner. It looks better. It looks good. It looks great. This little area right here where this is kind of a snip, like a little bit of empty space right here, uh, can be adjusted. Uh, simply make a bigger staff room or sorry make a bigger closet that can be adjusted so no worries there don't don't feel like everything is a wasted space all the time you know and, you know in good time we'll, we'll figure it out right we'll figure it out now again the outside it is a lot of money to do I think right how much money is this to replace this is that not a lot of money because I would really like to just change the look I guess 350 there but yeah I would like to just change the look because I think it looks god awful, just white on the outside. How does this look right now? That's better. You know, it is a brick building after all, but it's better than what it was, I think. Like that way. All right. Cool. Awesome. Nice. Wonderful. All right. So, like I said, I'm totally into the business management of this game. Send me off. Go ahead. All right, so now we are starting to creep into the night shift here where our radiologist, I believe, is... Oh, okay, the radiologist is actually going to the bathroom. Which minds, I should probably put a restroom back here. Yeah, I should probably put a um, restroom back here for our people so that our staff doesn't need to go all the way to the front. Yeah, it's a good idea. So room workload statistics. So day shift statistics. One idle room, rooms with critical workload. Let's open up the statistics here. Uh, workload day, none, none... On call, none. Okay, staff, none. I don't know what exactly I'm looking at here. Uh, patient satisfaction, most frequent modifiers. Staff satisfaction, nice environment, has a boss. Okay. All right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> but I think having a nice bathroom back here is probably not a bad idea. We could do a big restroom back here too if we really, really, really wanted to. So we could go, uh, I know this is where one of the doctor's offices were, was going to go, but we could put like a bathroom kind of centralized there. I mean, there is a bathroom right there in the staff room, so they should be able to just go to the bathroom. Oh, wait, is that not a bathroom? That's not a bathroom. That's just a sink and a thing. That's not even, it's just lockers in there. Oh, I see. Um, right. Hmm. What if I did a smaller bathroom? Just a tiny bathroom. Yeah. Tiny bathroom. And we'll do it right there. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, no, I accidentally extended it out. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> oh, damn it. Um, uh, that's annoying. So how do I delete all this? Oh, no. Just get rid of the, like, delete the walls as well. I didn't mean to do that. I really, really, really didn't mean to do that. Okay. Okay, and... Okay, so and then, like, dynamite everything. Okay. Okay, there we go. <sighs> okay, so what I'll do instead now is I'll go prefab restroom. This is the dangerous of the, of the, of the prefab, right? Boom. Add that there. Wonderful. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted to do. 
was just do that. And then we'll finish off this. There we go. And then we'll rotate back around. Very good. And then we'll add that little bit of wood action there. And then let's go to the other side and add that little wood action over there as well. Okay. This technically still gives us enough room for a doctor's office, I'm pretty sure here. Because I do eventually want to have more. Let's go emergency room, doctor's office. Oh, I guess we'll have to go this way with it. A lot of wasted space here. We might have to just scrap a prefab and just start like making custom now because just just so we're not wasting too much space. I don't know. We'll figure something out here. Um, but two doctors. And you know what? Not even a bad idea to just expand out this way with doctor's offices. Keep them in a row, right? We can go this way with it. So there's not like a lot of big deal here. Yeah, this is not this. I'm not I'm not worried about it. Nope. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's see what's going on here if we hit play. So now that we don't have a radiology on, on stand here uh, during the nighttime, we'll see if we get somebody complaining about it, maybe. I don't know. Potentially. Somebody could say, you know what, I need, a, I need an x-ray, you know. But then again, at the same time, there could be nobody coming in at night, you know. Um, the doctor just sits there and watches TV all day. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So this should be open, right? Radiology, uh, radiology clinic should be technically open, right? What's wrong with it? Hang on a sec. Oh, it needs a waiting room. Oh, I see. So the radiology needs a waiting room. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we could do that. So a waiting room for this one spot. Okay. Um, right. Let's go radiology. We're looking for a waiting room. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess we can just make it any waiting room. Maybe that's where this goes. Maybe this is the waiting room here. Who knows? You know, the waiting room actually for radiology could be pretty, pretty big, maybe. So this is kind of like background kind of stuff, right? This is like the same kind of thing, though, you know? Mm, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Waiting room down here. You know, um, yeah, I'm thinking, well, no, no, I'm not, I'm thinking that either. Hmm. I like this, but again, kind of wasted space, right? And really what I could do is actually I could make my own probably waiting room waiting area for radiology right here so let's see here let's kind of go unprefabbed and let's go uh let's go that up. here we want chairs right gotta go off of basic like basically this right here right we want chairs right because that's just a regular chair yeah pretty sure okay put that down um let's go here anything here just Nope. Over here? Nope. Over here? Potentially? Oh, I'm in the wrong section. Okay, bench. Yes, let's do... We'll do... It doesn't really matter what color, I guess. We'll do white. Put that right there. There. Right there. Right there. Okay. So a couple chairs, right? A couple chairs. What else do they like to have? A little bit of decoration, a little bit of water, a little bit of food, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, yeah, we could probably do a little bit of that. Like, right over here. Maybe even add another bench. I don't expect a lot of people to be here right off the bat. That's my only thing here. So we'll do one more there, and then if we can... Um... Maybe an Info TV? Info TV works together with a Q machine in a waiting room. This provides smoother patient flow to adjacent rooms. I might have to do this. I might do a queue, right? So if we had a queue, and then we had a um, info TV right above it, and then we need a, how big is this? A coffee machine? Yeah, we'll do a coffee machine. And then like maybe, maybe a TV, <laughs> maybe a TV. Um, a water dispense and then 
Where is the, um, there it is. The vending machine. Change the color of the vending machine. It'd be red. And the vending machine. This is a lot of stuff right next to an x-ray room where a door is probably kind of busy, right? Hey, but it is what it is, right? It is definitely is what it is. Now, uh, how do we, whoops, how do we give off? Yes, this. What is this? Cleaning closet. Okay, no. Cardiology. I need a cardiology unit. Nope. Uh, I, I, what the heck is this? Zero? Number one? Decal? Oh, wait, these are decals? I just need, like, to figure out how to zone this off correctly. That's my only problem. Nope, nope, and nope. Wait, what is this? Select doors for copy. No, no. Select objects for copying. No. Maybe I do this within the radiology menu. The radiology. Let's see here. Ah, what do we have here? Remove rooms. Move a room in selected room. Copy paste prefab. No. No, none of that stuff. Mm, okay. Unless, hey. Waiting room. Now, I thought you could, like... Waiting rooms should be placed within reach of the office, lab, and radiology room. Size 4 by 2 For required equipment, the room marker on the floor in the management mode. Management mode, yeah? What is the management mode? No, no, no. Time out, time out, time out. It's the management. It's building mode. Game mode. Management mode. Remove rooms. No, no, no. Uh, staff only areas. No. Restricted areas for all patients. No. Oh god, the dress code. Oh no. Okay, no. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Um, I'm not sure. What the heck is this like zone thing, right? I'm assuming there's a zone, right? Yeah. Okay, I figured it out. I figured out what you need to do to get these waiting rooms. So you actually click it and then you click and drag. So there we go. We actually made the waiting room. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. We figured it out. We figured out how to make uh make zoning. Holy crap. Fantastic. By the way, $30,000, we've opened up a radiology clinic now. Okay, things will go a lot smoother now, now that I realize and now I figured out how to do this now. Finally. Holy crap. Alrighty. Now, I do want to take a look just real quick at the night shift here just to see if there are any patients coming in. Uh, and it doesn't seem like that's the case. Now, $66,000 is how much we have and how much I'm comfortable with having for right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, that will bring in a lot of, what is it? A lot of foot traffic maybe later on, but here in the beginning here, I don't think we're going to be doing a lot of, um, night shift foot trafficking. So we might have to bring into, uh, you know, the next day. Um, cause look there, nobody's coming here. Oh, there's someone walking. Oh, 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 hello. Hi. How are you? Where are you coming in at 2 AM for 1 AM? Uh, slow down. What are you here for? Carol Davis. 10 hidden symptoms? What the frick, dude? We only have one doctor tonight. Hopefully the other person can chill out. Got chills, irritable cough, fatigue, nasal. Headache, sneezing. Oh my lord. Are you okay, Carol? Cheapo care. Sore throat. You have bronchitis? Fever, chills. Wait a sec. What What, what was her diagnosis? What, what, what was that? Influenza. Oh, she has the flu. I see. All right. Next person. Let's see, who is this? This is Casey Hall. Casey Hall, four hidden symptoms. Fatigue, headache, fever, speck, sputum cough. What the heck is sputum cough? Let's see if we can get him done. So yeah, like at nighttime here, very, very easy. Um, not, it's not too busy, right? There's a little bit of this and that and a little bit of that and this, but that's it. Cyanitis? That is what he has, cyanitis? All right. <laughs> so funny, some of these things. They're just the medical terminology, right? It's just kind of crazy. So Casey Hall had nice cyanitis. Um, Money-wise, you know, I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure. We are technically bringing in 20 people, so that's fantastic to see. Let's go ahead and look here. So, um, yeah, open a medical laboratory clinic and we'll get $50,000. We can increase uh, clinic patients per day to 15. Treat 15 patients per day, which is fine because we actually do get 20 patients per day. So that, that'll be very easy. But a laboratory clinic, that's interesting. I wonder how much that's going to cost us. 
A laboratory clinic? Where does that come in? Is that here? The chemists? Probably the chemist, yeah. Hematology lab? Microbiology? What is the, um, maybe not. What is the, uh, excuse me. What is the medical laboratories? Room workload? Okay, that's fine. What is this? Like, yeah, what, what, what is that? What is that exactly? Tell me what that is. Is that, that's not a radiology thing, no? Restroom, restroom, cleaning closet, common. X room, cardiology, sonograph. No, I don't think it is. I, I really don't think it is. That's fine. That's good. General surgery. There's surgery rooms. No, no, we're not ready for that. Internal medicine. Maybe internal medicine. Um, ortho. Cardiology. Neurology. That's pretty much it. Okay, yeah. So I'm not really sure what the laboratory um, room is. I'm assuming it's biochemists. Has to do with something like a hematology lab. Takes a med tech. Technologist, not a med tech, but fully equipped laboratory. Yep, here you go. Hematology lab. That's exactly it. Question is. Oh my lord. Where would you want that son of a gun, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> that's the smallest one, right? That's the 8x6. Then there's the 12x6. Man, these things are massive, right? Super massive. Now, that, that would fit actually pretty good. Right there. That would fit really good. Um, and then I guess we can kind of go out in a different route there. Right? That would fit really, really good. And then we can kind of adjust the waiting room, kind of. You know? And then we can have our, what is it called? Our hematology lab. What about the microbiology lab? Fully equipped laboratory capable to provide cultivation testing of various samples. That's $25,000. Uh, this one is $25,000 as well. Do Is there any other labs? Histology labs? $20,000. That's a cheaper lab. Maybe that can go right here. Most of these um, labs are actually kind of like horizontal. Interesting. I do. I really, really, really did like the hematology lab and how that f slided in there very well. Was it the big one? Yeah, it was like the big one. That just slid in perfect. I love that. And then I'll just punch out that waiting room wall. You know, let's do that. Let's put that down. $30,000. Are you out of your damn mind? And then right here. We'll just kind of like, like this, honestly. No, no, no. Go back to it. This, you can kind of just like get rid of that. And then open this door up right here. So we can open up a door. This could be another. Would this be a restricted area? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Actually, not thinking about it. Maybe it wouldn't. No, I want the door. Give me the door. No, no, no I want the door. Give me the door. No, not the, not the waiting room. I want the door. Give me the door. I can't get the door. Can I replace the door at least? Maybe just like slide that in. There. Okay, that's easy enough. We'll slide that in. That will be fine. We'll add another double door over here. That will be good. So there we go. A little bit of action going on. We're going to have to hire a, a med tech probably, right? Or someone. Holy crap. This is going to take a lot. Uh, well, I say a lot, a lot, but it's only because I, I got the biggest of the biggest, right? Candidates for technologists. Um... The best of the best, right? Uh, Robert Martinez. Neurology, biochemistry is very good. USG, biochemistry is really good. Biochemistry is really good. Actually, maybe not the best of the best. Maybe just a nice, I just need a biochemist, maybe. You know, what do you do? Hard worker? Yeah, 144, get hired, Elizabeth. Yeah, get hired. And we'll work on that and see how that goes. Now, um, medical laboratories have a waiting room, I think, as well. So what we can do is we can actually split up this waiting room here. And go here, kind of make it like that. Oh, perfect. Uh, objective complete, $50,000 as well. So the reason why I did that is because people are going to be waiting for their medicine. I think four people. It, it shouldn't take a lot of people. Of course, I can readjust everything here when that time comes to see if it gets a little overloaded. But at least in the beginning, it's not really that much of an important thing, right? I don't know if a lot of people will be getting, uh, you know, waiting on their results here very often in the beginning that's kind of the reason why i did that so now the next thing is open a clinic at any specialized department what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to squeeze in as much as i can right that's my idea here 
Um, I, I know this waiting room right here, this tiny, tiny, tiny little waiting room technically doesn't have a uh, TV and all that and, and whatnot. But, um, you know, it, it, it will work, I think. I think it will work. It doesn't have a TV. It doesn't have all that stuff. They, I don't expect them to be there very long. I, I think that's my plan here. So let's see here. Let's fast forward time. I know I'm getting a little out of hand on this episode. I do apologize. But, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm just interested on how everything is going to, like, operate now, right? So this person, perfect example. Biochemist comes up to the person. They ask for what they need. This person goes and gets what they need. This person then waits for a little bit, right? There's no that. There's no queue, you know? He, this person, whoever comes up to this, the, the technologist, has to deal with the technologist uh, directly, which is fine, I think, personally. I think it's fine. Um, Hi, subscriber. Thank you, Christian, for the subscription. But, yeah, I, I think that's a-okay. They're just picking up medicine, right? They're just picking up medicine. It's not a foolproof system. I will have to make changes. I know that. But at least for right now in the beginning, I think we're doing A-OK. -okay. As you can see, the waiting room is just out of freaking control. Having additional doctors on scene might be the best course of action here going forward. Um, which, yeah, $85,000. Yeah, damn well, should probably hire more doctors, right? Probably. And maybe even another receptionist, if so, right? But this whole waiting room with the TV queue and all that, that seems to be doing A-OK. -okay. Um, these two things are kind of like taking up a lot of pointless room, right? There's a lot of people here asking for a doctor, and that's it's a little worrisome. So I do actually kind of thinking about putting in a little bit of a prefab here. Uh, I would like to go doctor, please. Doctor, doctor. Give me a nice small doctor room, maybe. If I can slide that in. If I slide that in right there, will I be able to slide it in over here? I don't think so. I think it's a four by. Yeah, it's not a three. Yeah, it is a four by. There's not a three by, is there? There is no three by F. So if I put the doctor over here, I don't know what's going to go right there. Or vice versa. You know what I mean? So having a doctor maybe right here and kind of extending out the foundation in the building itself will be the best course of action here. So if we were to do that, you know, and then we would say, you know what? Let's, yeah, let's get the foundation over here. Let's add the walls. Uh, really, we want to go foundation. We want to add more to it and then we want to take out some of these walls right we want to go uh, really we want to go like outside brick yep outside brick across and then this wall entirely we just want to get rid of yep we don't need that wall boom done and then add the black carpet over here then add the nice little wood and then hire you know a couple more doctors and that shall be a-okay you know having a third doctor on scene there we go. Now that we have, like, very quickly, right? Very, very quickly have started to uh, bring in a lot of lot of patients. <laughs> All right. So, for instance, General Medicine, 25%. Hate to see that. General Medicine, 0%. General Medicine, 0%. Michael Johnson, James White. What the hell are you guys even, like, why are you even doctors? Okay. Um, I guess our best option here is Christopher Davis. Like, hiring agency. Find new candidates for $2,500. Yeah, honestly. Let's do that. Uh, general, yeah, this is a lot better. Let's actually, can we reveal these people? Hidden perks? There we go. That's good. Um, 311, 346, 413. So we have Mark Rodriguez here, who is very good at general medicine. Uh, very good at acute medicine. Very good at diagnostics. He is a early bird, which is good, I guess. Works much more efficient during the day. He is unpleasant. He is mean to the staff. That's F. And he's an extra talent and a diagnostics genius, which is incredible. Just because he's a dick doesn't mean he can't do his job get hired okay now night shift i'm still waiting on night shift i'm not really like fully committed to night shift yet uh, but there we go we have the additional doctor coming in now that should kind of give a little bit of relief on our other doctors right and a little bit of relief on the patients themselves but we need to get 15 patients in here today and treated today we have a maximum of 20 stopping by today but 15 altogether is what we need they do have to walk a long way now, don't they? The whole waiting room idea. But they're close to the bathroom, so, you know, you got to pick and choose your battles, right? right? But, uh, yeah, anyways, this is going to do it in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Project Hospital. If you guys did, please, please, please make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And let me know any tips and tricks, suggestions, ideas down below in the comment section below. I'm very open to anything and any suggestions. Doesn't mean I'll take every suggestion, but I am open to hearing suggestions because, you know, that's what keeps it spicy and fun. Anyways, thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys very, very, very soon in the next video, wherever that may be. And do as always, take care.